Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I am in Newmarket, Ontario at a Five Guys Burgers and Fries location to do one of their secret menu items called the Double Grilled Cheese Burger. I'm gonna zip inside, grab it, and I'll be right back. Hang on. Woo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. So they wouldn't build me my secret menu item. I'm gonna have to build it myself. Uh, they said they got in trouble one time for putting uh, a, a hot dog wiener on a, on a burger. So Ooh la la. Uh, each grilled cheese was $3.99. I had to buy a little burger, which was $5.69. I put tomatoes and lettuce on it, uh, and the drink came to $2.39. So the total was $18.14. One of the most expensive uh, secret menu items that I can remember me buying. All right. So that looks like possibly, are there grilled cheese round? Let's open up. Okay, so their grilled cheese are round. Check it out, people. It smells like a grilled cheese to me. Let's move on to the next one. This is probably a grilled cheese too. Very messy, lots of cheese. Check it out. Wow. They should put some more cheese on that. It almost looks like sourdough bread, which would be kind of neat. Oh, and they cut it. Damn it! Okay, guys, there's the Five Guys Burgers and Fries burger. This is the little burger, single patty, uh, and we've got two slices of tomato and lettuce on there. So we're just gonna take the buns off and put it in between our grilled cheeses. Okay, guys, look at that. We got our Mickey Mouse ears going on. Okay, we're going to attempt to build this, we're gonna put this inside this, make sure that our lettuce isn't gonna fall off everywhere like it already did. This is gonna be a messy meal. We'll put our bun to the side. We'll grab our other grilled cheese here. We'll put it on. It's gonna fall apart like crazy because I forgot to tell them not to cut it in half. Don't cut my grilled cheese. What kind of nonsense is this? It's a small enough sandwich. Well, there you go, people. There's your extreme close-up. All right, guys, it's time to take a bite of the double grilled cheese burger, secret menu item. And the cheese is actually holding it together even though it's cut. Here we go, in for a big bite. Definitely grilled cheese overpowering everything. I didn't even taste the tomato and I got a bite of. I barely tasted the beef. Let's go in for another bite. I'm trying to get as much as I can. Well, as you can probably guess, it is very, very cheesy. If you love cheese, then this is uh, an item that you might want to give a shot if you can afford it. It's very, very expensive. Uh, one of the things I would probably do to beef this up is definitely add a patty or two more. Uh, definitely put some more condiments on it. I just did the tomatoes and uh, lettuce, but they've got a whole list of different ingredients uh, or uh, toppings that you can put on this thing. All right, guys, I'm gonna go in for one more bite because this is really, it is really good, but it is heavily into the cheese. So if you're a one o'clock in the morning type fan and you love cheese and beef and cheese, this bite's for you. Are you ready? Scratch it, sniff it. All right, guys, this one's for you. Mm. I'm getting the hamburger flare to it now. Mm. That is one crazy burger, let me tell you. All right, guys. I'm going to polish this off just for you. Hang on.
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Yes, it did. Nice. All right, guys. On my rating scale, I'm going to have to rate this a couple different ways. Uh, on my rating scale for taste, flavor, like I said, I'd add probably a couple more patties and some more condiments just to beef it up a little bit more. So uh, as a taste only uh, rating, uh, I would definitely recommend that. That was absolutely fantastic. But for the price and the amount of food, that I'm going to have to go indifferent to a do not recommend. Uh, it is not worth buying two uh, grilled cheese and burger just to have a secret menu item here at uh, Five Guys Burgers and Fries. And they also won't build it for you. Not at this location anyway. So you have to build it yourself. Then you have two buns left over, which sucks. If you do do buy, if you do do, <laughs> I said do do. If you do buy, uh, if you ever try this, make sure you remember not to get the grilled cheese cut. It made it kind of all flimsy and kind of falling apart all over the place. And uh, that's pretty much my recommendation right there. Definitely put some ketchup on there because grilled cheese and ketchup. Hey! All right, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. Just for you. I am once again... I am in the first name now. Ding, 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 chaka. This is not a drive through location. I don't even think they have a drive through. Drive through. <laughs> Secret menu item, perhaps? The double cheese, the double grilled cheese burger. Grilled cheese burger. The double grilled cheese burger. Double cheese, the double grilled cheese burger. The double cheese, the double grilled cheese burger. I almost finally said it right. Okay guys, it's all built. This is your double grilled treat. Cheese. Cheese. Woo, we are back in the, do the window up a bit more. They say they got in trouble once for putting uh, a, a, a hot dog wiener. On a, on a burger. Ooh la la. Woo! Ah. What the hell is my problem? Okay, guys, there's the... Squeaker! All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.